Anatomy and Physiology. Welcome back to another day of online learning. Um, today, I'm going to have you guys do your amino acid research project. And I use the term research loosely and I use the term project loosely. I'll explain why here in a second. Each of you is going to be assigned one of the 20 amino acids, except for alanine. That's my example one that I'm going to post. And so no one gets the example. Um, and so make sure and refer to the uh, PDF for your individual class to see which one you have assigned to you. Some of you both have um, the same one to do. It's not that you're working together. It's just that you were assigned the same amino acid because we have more than 19 students in each class. So that will be posted within Google Classroom for you. This slide, which this PowerPoint that I'm using will be posted in Google Classroom as well, has all of your instructions and my expectations for you. So you're not going to actually present this to the class. You are just creating a slideshow and turning that in. So it's not like something you're going to come back to school and present to all of us. Mrs. Lloyd just going to read your slideshow and grade them from there. You probably only will need two, maybe three slides on your slideshow. Um, there's not a lot to this, but you're going to tell me the full name of the amino acid, um, provide the molecular formula and the structural formula. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like in a minute. Um, a lot of amino acids have abbreviations. And so this is why I'm asking you for the full name. If you want to include the abbreviation as well, that's A-OK. -okay. Then you will um, have a structural formula of it. And so you're going to use a tool in slides in order to circle the amino group in blue, the carboxyl group in red, and the R variable group in green. Remember, we talked about each of those functional groups in the um, lesson yesterday, as well as when we discussed amino acids, we identified what each of those are on amino acids. Um, you're going to provide the three-letter abbreviation as well. And then you need to tell me what its classification is. Does it fall in the polar, nonpolar, or acid, or base group? When you look this up, this information should be readily, readily available for you. Um, and I have a video as well to sort of explain what those mean. You don't really have to explain it to me, but you just have to identify what it is. And then I want to know if it's an essential amino acid. What it means um, to be essential is that we get it in our diet um, and we have to have it in our diet in order to live. So um, if it's a non-essential amino acid, it means that we don't need to eat it because our bodies make it ourselves. So depending what kind of amino acid you have, you're going to say, yes, it's essential and you can find it by eating these items. Okay. And this is the kind of food things that you would eat based on that. If it's man-made and you can find information about how your body makes it, maybe you say it's synthesized through the liver. Okay. Um, or made through the liver, something to that effect. How does your body produce that amino acid? And then um, lastly, I just want to know two facts. Interesting would be great. I don't know how interesting you guys will find amino acids. So just state two interesting facts about the amino acid that you have. Uh, in this slideshow, you guys are going to create your very own Google slide. Um, that means that when you get to Google Classroom, you might want to click the plus button and then you're going to create a Google slide. I'd like you to name it with your period and last name. So if I was in first period, I would title mine One Lloyd. And then um, if you create it within the assignment in Google Classroom, it should already be uploaded and you'll quick turn it in. If you create it outside of Google Classroom in your drive, make sure you do upload it in order to turn it in. Now, one thing students always ask me is, how do you make a subscript when you are creating um, your formulas? So this kind of grayed out box here sort of shows you what to do, okay? So if I wanted to turn H2O and I want to make that 2 into a tiny little O that dropped down, I'd highlight the 2. 
and then I would go to format, text, and then down to subscript. Okay. I find that um, to make things easier for me so I don't have to do that for every single little letter, I'll sometimes copy my H2O once I have it and then just change the letters in front and change the lowercase letter um, to make it go faster if it's a big formula that I'm writing out. Okay. Um, and then these are just two websites that I have found in the past that have some basic information on the amino acids. This probably isn't enough information for you, so you're going to want to do further research. And by research, you can look this stuff online. Okay? You don't need to cite your sources for this activity. We're not publishing it anywhere. Um, you're just sharing this information with Mrs. Lloyd. Um, if you want to include links to some of the things, that's great. You can make a slide for that, um, but it's not part of the grade for this. I just want you to address those main things. So let me show you, and oh, and then lastly, I will also link this video. I mentioned it in class and we didn't watch it, but if you watch this video, it'll explain those groups, those classifications a little bit more. So when you are doing your research, you'll understand what it means if your amino acid is polar or nonpolar and so forth. I'm not going to play a, a video inside of a video. You guys can watch that when you're done with this one. All right, so I have opened here um, an example from a previous student. Okay, check it out. Short and sweet. We got three slides and that includes this title slide. So there's the full name of it. They have it here again. They've provided the molecular formula Okay, C3H7NO2, and then the structural formula. In this case, the student has um, just found a picture online okay, and pasted it in there. That's what I would highly recommend doing because it's really difficult to getting um, all of the arrangement of those atoms in there. And then you are going to, like I said, um, circle your different groups, the amino group, the carboxyl group, and the R group in your different colors. Just to show you where that tool is, okay, you would go to shape, okay, and then you can pick the circle. Right, if I want to circle alanine, I could drag and drop this over. It might fill it in, so then I'd want to go to my fill color and choose transparent, and then I can change you know, my border color to whatever. You can also change the thickness if you want a really thick line for whatever reason. Okay. The other thing while I'm on here is to show you how to do that formula. Um, so if I wanted to do glucose, okay, C6H12O6, okay, and I type it out, it looks like that. So I highlight my six, I go to format text, and down to subscript. You can also hit control plus comma as a shortcut. Now I could do that for the 12 and the six, but Mrs. Lloyd's lazy. So I'm always looking for ways to cheat the system a little bit. If I paste this, right? I can change this to an O, okay? And then if I, let's say I paste it again, I can try to change this one to a 12, this one to an H. And I did it really fast and simple. Um, you can also just, if you're not sure what I just did, I was copying and pasting in there. Um, you can highlight the 12, format, text, subscript, and then highlight the 6, format, text, subscript. Okay, that works. Alrighty. <clears throat> and then here is that student's um, information that I also asked for. So the abbreviation, Okay, for alanine is ALA, it's classified as a nonpolar neutral amino acid. It's non-essential, okay, and alanine gets produced when our muscles release lactic acid. So this is not one that you eat or consume, this is one that your body produces. And so she explained how you um, produce it. Two fun facts, okay, she also provides some food sources that you can get it, and um, when our body produces alanine, it sends it to the liver where it's converted to energy. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. It's, I'm not asking for too much. If for whatever reason you can't get Google Slides to work, 
You are also very welcome to write this on a piece of paper and upload a picture, or you can message me a picture if tech isn't working for you. Please don't hesitate to message me if you have any questions on Remind or email. I'll be around all day. I hope you guys have so much fun with your amino acid projects today. Thanks.